morning hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is isabel welcome i was trying to pick up this bowl that's why i was crouched like that but i'm gonna be trying to make an iced coffee while we sit out here and talk i drove i had to freaking drive hella far i'm gonna tell you guys why um, but in all, it was like a two hour drive. It's one hour to get out there and then one hour back. I went to the Target, my nearest Target, um, which is in Texarkana, which is super duper far. I'm going to give you guys a whole little update. Don't worry. Don't worry. If you're confused, that's okay. Keep up. You just got to keep up. I don't know if I'm supposed to shake this. I think so. I don't really know. But... I got this at Tajay. It's just the Starbucks blonde roast coffee. I don't really ever make my coffee like that, like that. If I do, it's from one of those machines. But I don't have one of those like little pod machines or whatever here. Um, and then I got this. I think you're supposed to whisk this. I'm not whisking it. I'm just gonna pop it in there. And then I also got the almond oat milk hazelnut latte. I don't know. It just looked really bomb. I usually will get the um, caramel macchiato though if I go to Starbucks or McDonald's, which I personally prefer the McDonald's caramel macchiato. It's a lot sweeter, I think, and it just tastes better. And I think you get more for your money, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, and then I got... Well, actually, this was in my friend's fridge already, and it's just the caramel sauce. I don't know. So we're going to try to make this. I'm going to try to make this. <laughs> and let's hope it's good. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting out here mad that I messed up my coffee. So, oh yeah, I got these little jars just at the dollar store. I like these jars. I think they're cute. I just put a little bit in I you know they be doing all this on those videos I'm not doing that um yeah so then this is new I got this yesterday I took this little road trip to Target yesterday I went to Walmart to try and find this stuff they didn't have it they didn't have it my local Walmart <laughs> did not have it Walmart here is basically where everyone shops I think I'm gonna put a little bit more yeah and the fact that they didn't have coffee says a lot <laughs> it says we're out in the country i'm just kidding but basically yeah it's um where i'm at right now if you didn't know i didn't even know how to open this so i guess you open it from here oh did i just bur i probably just broke that whatever um but yeah if you guys didn't know why would you know i haven't really given anyone an update in two weeks it's been like two weeks i've been slacking but i have come out to arkansas um it's right next to texas we're like an hour from texas an hour from oklahoma uh i don't know how far we are from louisiana but it's like yeah i'm out there we out here you know i with la okay i can't get this open i'm gonna bite this you guys are gonna get like a 20 minute video of me just making the coffee and then we're gonna share the tea because you know being out here it's crazy if I lose my train of thought it's cuz I can't multitask oh, wow <laughs> that looks good okay wait I'm gonna put some more cuz I like my stuff sweet you know cuz I'm a whole show weedy I have a spoon <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna put this heavy whipping cream. Don't come for me because I'm pretty sure that just splashed me. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to whip this, but I don't have that little cute whisk thingy. And yeah, I'm scared this is gonna pop. Okay, anywho, I forgot what I was saying, but oh wow <laughs> i've never made a drink with this so this maybe i put two. oh whoa do you guys see that okay so we're gonna mix it oh yeah oh wait i'm gonna put more caramel and then we'll mix it <laughs> i feel like a little kid <laughs> but wow mm. 
do you guys see do you guys see are you guys seeing what the heck i'm seeing if you guys see me run it's because there's some crazy bugs over here oh okay that's why you don't <laughs> that's what i get for trying to show up but yeah look it wow i wish i had a straw there's one up in my room i meant to grab it wash it grab it but whatever okay taste test Okay. I could really be a barista at this point. I'm a chef. I'm a whole chef. Yeah. Ooh. That's good. You guys want to take a sip? Here, go ahead. Just grab it. Okay. So now that we made this whole coffee, this is really good though. And actually this stuff actually wasn't that cheap not gonna lie so you know how people are like oh it's cheaper just to make the coffee i don't really know about that don't know if that's true i wouldn't say it is <laughs> so i'm just gonna put all this back in the bowl so i can take it back inside i really came out here set up the tripod to take this video for the lighting and then the views like it's so pretty all right anyways guys let's get right into it why did i come out to the south why am i here what am i here for i don't know i really couldn't tell you myself to be honest i don't have a solid answer for that i just you know i just have been i guess you could say following my heart <laughs> and i know that sounds super stupid and pretty cliche and like you know probably unrealistic but also look at the world now i just feel like Like, why not? I, you know, for me, I just, I'm 22. I just turned 22. I just feel like, you know, I just want to live my life and I just want to do it the best way that I know how. And if I feel like I want to go somewhere, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. That's just what I'm learning about myself. And you guys know I was in LA and I really wanted to be in LA and yada yada. And yeah, that that feeling is still here but at that time at this time i would say that's not probably not the best thing and then it's also not what i needed it wasn't what i needed um while i was there i did feel alone i kind of went through some like i don't know what you would call it i just was feeling down out and a little alone and you know i was like well why am i really here like there's nothing really there for me I don't really know too many people like that like that and I you know just really wanted a sense of community and to have I guess you could say family friends around you know so I have my closest friend she lives I feel like I have talked about her a lot to people and yada yada I've been like oh my best friend she lives out in uh well at the time she was in Texarkana and you know I was like yeah she lives out there I really really miss her and then you know like when you drink yada yada you know your feels well I would always be like oh I miss my best friend you know so I decided basically you know what why not move out to the south um talked with her about it talked you know and we decided like okay you want to move out there all right like let's do it so i um basically decided you know what i'm gonna just head out there see if the van will get me there and honestly i wasn't quite sure if the van was gonna get me here um and so i was like okay i'm going there regardless no matter what like i just really felt like i wanted to be out here and i wanted that sense of community and i wanted to see my friend and just have a different i guess perspective on life well being here i have i have a whole different perspective on life <laughs> it is interesting it's very interesting i feel like being in the south i have always heard stories about the south not always heard stories about the south but you hear about the racism you hear about down south they're like these they're like that you know excuse my little southern accent <laughs> um 
but it really you know i had never experienced it and then coming here it's they're shady i'm just gonna say they're shady they're shady well not everyone i won't say everyone but um i feel like in washington there is racism obviously but I don't feel like you find communities where I'm from, Tacoma, okay? We are not racist there. I feel like as a whole, Tacoma is very diverse. Um, you don't experience, you just, you just don't experience the same things there. Um, and I feel like the people here are more rude, you know? I just feel like they're more rude. Um, I'm not really quite sure how to explain it without sounding like an asshole. But let me just tell you guys, let me just freaking tell you, across the street, we have neighbors. So all up and down our street, it is pretty diverse. You see people of all, um, of all, of all nations, basically, like, you know, you see, um, there's white people, there's black people, there's brown people, there's, there's, there's just a mixture of everyone. And that's how I like it, like, you know, that's how I like it. And then across the street, there is a house and I'm actually going to show you guys. I'll insert a clip of it, but they have like this whole structure thing. And there's two American flags on either side of it. And there's a bell and then there's like a, a rope. And it, I don't know. It just is really, it's scary to me to think that there's people like that here even though they do have literally such a diverse community around them so the fact that they feel okay to have that up to me it's i'm gonna i feel like i should put that on tiktok because i just it's just really like wow racism is so alive in the south and i don't think people really understand that especially coming from other states and stuff like that like you hear about racism you know you do see racism but here it's it's okay i guess for them it's like second nature it seems like and it's 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 really disgusting like i do enjoy being out here i as you guys can see it's like really beautiful there's just nature everywhere and i let's just have a moment of silence so you guys can hear the bugs just listen you guys hear that it's really peaceful like it's so peaceful and then you have then you have people who are also so hateful around and it's really i don't know it just really gets to me because i feel like this is probably one of the most peaceful places you could possibly be and of all the things these people choose to be they choose to be racist i i have a hard time understanding that you would think because you're out in nature you're in such a rural area that people you know like i guess that's their safe zone to be racist but that it really shouldn't be like that and when i first got here i'm gonna just tell you guys i was on tinder i still am on tinder i'm a little scared now of who i match with but i was talking to this guy for like three four days probably and it was going good he was nice He's a nice person. He was. He was nice. And yada yada. Um, you know, we were planning on probably, you know, getting together, hanging out, and yada yada. Well, I've been having these bad stomach issues and my back has been hurting. Okay, I'm sounding real old, but that's just how I've been feeling. And you know, we were talking on the phone and I was like, dang, my stomach is aching, you know, yada yada. I wasn't feeling the best that day. And he decides to make a dumbass comment and was like oh you're pregnant which no 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 i'm not don't say that don't you ever say that and then he was like and you have a black baby in you and i just was like huh like bitch what did you just say to that and i was like why would you say that you know and i was like okay maybe he lurked on my instagram found out about my ex i don't know because you know i have dated you know i like i like my you know i love diversity and i believe you know i don't see i i never would be like oh i'm only gonna date this this type of person or i'm only gonna date 
white guys or am I gonna date black guys am I gonna date Mexicans like Hispanic I would never in a million years be like this is the only person I'm gonna date do I have preferences and do I go through phases where it's like oh I'm into this you know yeah of course I feel like everybody does or it's like you know I don't know me personally yeah of course um you gotta hear that do you guys hear that peace um, anyway, so I was like, maybe he went through my Instagram and found out like about my ex and yada yada, but that's weird because what the heck? And then also like, I don't even have my ex on Instagram and yada yada. And I was telling him, I was like, well, how did, why would you say that? I was like, like, what, what would make you say that? And I just thought that was super duper weird and yada yada so then we proceeded to talk and i was like well i just wanted to know why you would say that like if you think like you know i'm with my ex or something which is from when i was like 16. i i don't know i just thought it was really weird that he would say something like that and you know my ex from when i was 16. um i don't think we have any posts tagged together so i was just really trying to put together like why he would say something like that or if he thought I was involved with someone African-American or yada yada you know what I'm saying I I'm saying African-American to be like correct you know what I'm saying um but I was I don't know it just really it really took it really took me off guard and it I didn't like that so then um you know I was talking about my ex and yada yada and I was like well yeah um I, I like black guys, you know, I don't have an, you know, like, was that why you're saying that? Is that, you know, and I just had to ask him, like, is that why you're saying that? And he was like, uh, oh, your ex is black? Um, does he pick cotton for a living? And it just, y'all, I was like, excuse me, excuse me, bitch. But really, I just was like, why would you say something like that? And he thought it was funny. He was like, well, I think that's funny. <laughs> and he's like, I don't, I'm not racist. And I'm just like, bruh, you just ask, the, you know, it's just stuff like that. And that was my first experience on this dating app. And I'm not trying to be like everyone out in the South is racist. I don't think that's true at all. But obviously, you know, I mean, it's so diverse. So it's weird that people would even be racist or think that it's okay to be racist but it is a heavy issue out here and i feel like people here don't even realize it anymore because they've always been out here and it's like what they're used to at this point but baby i'm from washington and i you know yes racism is real and yes i have seen it if you guys don't know i was raised with a black family my mother who raised me is black and that is the culture that i grew up in and that's just always what i've been around and I, to me, it's just like weird to see people being so comfortable in that out here because I feel like even the racist, there are racists out in Washington, but I feel like the, what people have created is for it to be, um, it's kind of, they're kind of in a space now where I feel like it's more uncomfortable for them to be so outspoken and racist you know what I'm saying like here though they are loud and proud about it there I really feel like people have to be more like I mean there are obviously communities where people are not you know like shy about it but I feel like as a whole people know they'll get their asses beat okay that, that's the difference between there and here here, I don't see anybody really going ham on the races, and I just think that needs to change. Yeah, I really think that needs to change. And I don't know, I really do enjoy being out here, like I said, because of the nature, just because it is the country. I do like country, I, you know, <laughs> I enjoy it. But that is one of the things that actually does scare me. And part of the reason why I feel like that guy said what he said to me, though, is because I am very fair skinned, as y'all can see. That, like, the darkest part of me is literally my arms. 
and they're not even dark like it's, <laughs> um i've always been fair skin i take after my biological father and if you guys don't know he is an immigrant and he came from guatemala and he came here started a family and yada yada the rest is history well i feel like people who are white sometimes mistake me and think i also am very very white and although my skin, yes, very obviously very fair skin, and it does, you know, I I hate when people are like white privilege is not a thing because baby, yes it is, and I'm here to say it is, it is, and I'm not even like a full white person, and I can say I don't have the same fears that, um, that people with darker skin have. Like I don't have that fear in me like oh just because of the color of my skin I'm gonna be hated on today and um it just you know it's just like a huge eye-opener to me the, the sun just like went down <laughs> um I don't know it's just really really crazy being out here it's very peaceful though like um I don't know I feel like I'm learning a lot just from the few weeks that I have been here um do i plan to stay out in the south you know you guys to be honest i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't have a quite solid plan and i had a conversation yesterday with someone i used to know and that sounds sad someone i used to know it's someone that i used to have a situation with and he was like, when are you gonna be stable? And it really hit me hard because I was like, what do you mean? What's stability? I'm just, <laughs> I just feel like I am always, I don't know, trying to learn something new, trying to see new things, get new experiences. And I feel like a part of that is just because I am in my 20s and I want to experience everything there is to experience before I settle down or decide, okay, this is where I want to be at. And I don't know, I'm really big on following my heart. And I know that sounds so stupid, but I, yeah, I really do think in your 20s, you should, I feel like you should go where your heart wants. I should feel like you should do the things that you really want to do before it's too late. No, I'm just kidding. Not before it's too late, but before, you know, like before you have that whole family, before you do find that person you want to settle down with. Obviously you can do that with the person that you want. But for me personally, I feel like I enjoy my independence. I enjoy being able to up and leave and just decide, okay, I'm going here. And it's something that I just get adrenaline from, okay? I get an adrenaline from it. And whether or not that is a healthy thing, I don't know. But I'm loving it. I like it. I've been having fun traveling and basically just going where it is that I want to go. Um, I feel like to some people that's weird or they they would they just don't understand it. They're like, why? Like, how do you do that? Why would you do that? And it's just like you know, because I can, because I can, <laughs> and there's nothing there's nothing stopping me. That's basically I don't know. I honestly just feel like there's nothing stopping me from doing the things that I want to do. There's nothing stopping me from packing up and leaving and trying a new adventure. And that's basically why I've been moving. That's basically why I've been going to different states and because there's nothing stopping me. And I feel like sometimes we stop ourselves and it's out of fear or out of like, well, I have to do this and I have to do that. And it's like, but they, you know, some people want to, I'm choosing like want to do different things. Sorry, I'm like ahead of myself but I choose to live in the what I want to do. And eventually there is gonna be a time in my life where I can't just do everything that I want to do, obviously. But right now I'm single, I'm 22, I, you know, whole life ahead of me. I feel like I can do the things that I want until it comes to time where I have heavier obligations and more life stuff to take care of and so that's kind of that's basically just what i've been doing and i know i'm always on the go and people are like where are you at now or you know and it's just like i'm here now and i you know some people like are like wow how do you do it and yada yada i just 
you know i have a goal in mind it's like i want to go here so i save up for that and then i go there I, <laughs> you know um it's not like i live a luxury life or anything in a you know I'm staying in five star hotels or anything it's like you know i have to obviously work i'm not making money on youtube yet <laughs> um but yeah that's it i don't know i guess i'm just out look at it just look at it i want to show you guys It's so beautiful. There was just birds. And yeah. So that's just basically what I've been up to. That's what I've been on. That's my thoughts. That's stuff that's going on in my head. Yeah. It's so peaceful. Like, do you guys, I just gave him another moment of silence because there's just birds and they're just talking. And it's just really, really peaceful out here. I don't know. So anyways, at Target yesterday, I also got this book. And it is a poem book, but it's really sweet. And I'm actually gonna read to you guys a verse, a verse, this ain't not Bible. <laughs> um, it was a sentence that I seen that I saw um, yesterday when I was reading it and I'm just gonna read this whole little thing to you because I, it's 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 like really they're really like deep poems I feel like and they do make you think it makes me think so it says where is she happy in elementary school I would burst out laughing in the middle of class I was loud and outgoing messy and funny and happy but somewhere along the line I lost it the freedom the innocence Sometimes I imagine my younger self and I worry she wouldn't recognize me. That last part. Let me just reread that. Hold up. It says, sometimes I imagine my younger self and I worry she wouldn't recognize me. I feel like that says a lot. It does say a lot because it just made me think and I'm like my younger self would she recognize who I am now I really don't know but I wouldn't you know I wouldn't say that's a bad thing but I don't know if it's a good thing I guess it could go one of two ways but it really made me think and then I don't know I got a little emotional reading it sorry there's dogs barking in the back hi guys um but I, it just made me think like I guess like a younger version of myself would I be proud of who I am and you know I would say yeah I would say yeah you know I mean I feel like by society's eyes maybe I don't you know I'm not in school I'm kind of just willy-nilly doing whatever it is but then like at the same time I feel like younger me just really wanted to be happy and have fun and to like enjoy life and I'd say that's what I'm doing. I'd say I'm doing that the best way that I I can, that I know how to. For me, that's a huge thing, um, especially growing up like how I did and stuff like that. Like I really want to be happy and enjoy life for what, for what it is day to day because I didn't necessarily enjoy my childhood I guess. You could say, yeah, I'll make a video about that eventually, but there's a lot of stuff there. And so I really feel like me moving and seeing new things and getting new experiences, I feel like I'm wilding out in a way and just trying to figure out like what I really love and what it is that makes me feel driven. And I think I'm learning and finding out more and more of what that is. It's just, I feel like maybe it's taking me a little bit longer. I'm taking a different route than the average person. And you know, but that's okay because whose life is it? Mine's. All right, well anyways, I guess I just wanted to give you guys an update and then also just talk my feelings out. That's basically what this is. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do want to say though, if you guys feel like you're on a path and it's like, you're just not sure, it's gonna, you know, you'll figure it out. I mean, we're all on a path. Like, I mean, it's not like you're gonna 
<laughs> it's not like it's Mario Kart and you're gonna fly off the edge of Rainbow Road. I mean, you know, it's just, it's okay to take time to figure out who you are and it's okay to take time to, to learn new things and it's okay to just not know sometimes, you know? I mean, look at the world now, guys. Really. Come on. You can't just know everything. You can't just know what's coming what you know what it is that you really especially the world is changing day to day y'all like one day we're in isolation and one day we're not like really like let's just be realistic and let's learn how to just enjoy life for what it is you know and just take it day by day and if follow your heart really at this point y'all we have a whole lot of people doing things by the books doing the right thing the right thing but then like, I don't know, you know, what really is the right thing? And to me, that is really just following my heart and trying to live my best life. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could relate to it, make sure to give it a fat thumbs up. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't ever want to say that again. <laughs> Make sure to just like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys have a really good day and are really happy. And also just think about, like, would younger you be proud of who you are now? Would, would you recognize yourself? If not, that's okay because we're all growing. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next video.